If you have followed how to make a full housing joint part one, you can now continue to glue the pieces together. Start by applying glue in the housing. Apply generously but evenly. Now apply a thin layer on the tenon. Use the mallet to assemble the pieces together and place it between the jaws of a T-bar clamp. Place a paper below the glued part of the joint and a piece of scrap wood to protect the piece from the jaw of the clamp. Tighten the clamp halfway and wipe away any extra glue with a damp cloth. Use a mallet to correct the position of the fit as you check it with a tri-square. Apply sawdust at the edges of the joint and let the glue dry. Once the glue has dried, unclamp the joint and fix it by the tenon on a vise. Use a bench plane to plane both sides until it is consistent and smooth. Now turn the joint over so that you can clean the corners. Use a bench chisel to pair along the corners until you have a smooth finish free of dried glue or splinters. You have now learnt how to make a full housing joint.